Hey friends, welcome back to Crystal's Intuition. I'm so glad you're here. I appreciate all of you stopping by. I appreciate your support. Don't forget to like the video on your way in so you don't forget. All right guys, I'm here today to do a reading on a cold case. This is an older case. This is, I believe, 12, 13 years old now. Uh, maybe even 14. Maybe even 14, 15 years old. Um, this is the case of Miss Haley Ann Marie Cummings. She was a five-year-old little girl that came up missing out of her mobile home under the care or under the watch of her dad, her father's girlfriend, who was a 17-year-old girl, <clears throat> sixth grade dropout, who didn't even know how to read and write at the time that this happened. Uh, her name is Misty Croslin. Um, who is now in prison, I believe, on drug charges. She later, after this case, ended up going to prison for drug charges and was given a very lengthy sentence, like 25 years or something, for, which was, I believe, very much tied to the fact that they feel she is, um, she holds some responsibility in what happened with, um, with Haley. Um, so this happened out of a place called Satsuma, I think I'm saying it right, Satsuma, Satsuma, uh, Florida in St. John's County, I believe. Um, the father of Haley Cummings' name is Ronald and he, Ronald Cummings, and um, he is now in his second lengthy uh, prison sentence. He was released and then re-arrested for drug charges again. He was arrested for drug charges. He did a long, a long amount of time in prison, was released, and then caught again with drugs. I think he had like a car crash or something. He was, he was caught behind the wheel. So he went back into prison. I believe he was combative when he was arrested and it was just, it was a big thing. Um, but not too long ago, I saw it, like an update. Well, Nancy Grace followed this case and was very connected to this case. Um, she worked her fingers to the bone on this case. And I saw that she had released an updated um, an update on the case not too long ago stating that um, Misty Croslin changed her story. So the original story <clears throat> was Ronald Cummings was at, at work and they have verified this. They have absolutely verified that he has nothing to do with this. He had left his two younger children who were Haley Cummings, Haley Ann Marie, and his the younger one, um, his son, I believe it was Ronald Jr., um, was I believe two at the time. Um, they were both left in the care of his girlfriend, Misty Croslin, who at the time was 17. Um, they'd been fighting the night before and he had thrown all her clothes out. Apparently how he knew her was that he met her at a bus stop for his children. Uh, she had babysat for him and things turned into whatever they turned into. Shortly after Haley went missing, they got married and it didn't last but 18 months and he went on to tell people after the divorce that the reason he married her was to make her comfortable enough to tell her tell him what happened to Haley because he firmly believes that Misty knows what happened to Haley and is responsible and I believe that as well um, so Haley has never been found um, so I thought I would come and since I've never actually sat down on camera to do a reading for Haley I thought I'd come do that today um, I've done lots of readings for Haley off camera. I've uh, been doing them since the moment she disappeared. So I know this is well, well before I had a YouTube channel or did this on camera. This is, this is just something I did um, way back and when it first happened. So I thought it would be cool to revisit it and see what the cards can say. Now, I will tell you, I'm pretty sure I know what happened to, to Haley. Um, her little spirit has come to me many times to show me what happened. She, she, her body ended up in a river. I, I, she does tell me that she was, um, hit on the head. Um, that, that a man came to help Misty, who, um, in a fit of anger, she hit the little girl, she hit Haley on the head, causing her death. Um, or, okay, so I've interpreted it two different ways. Either 
she was passed away before she went into the river or she wasn't, but it happened very quickly. So once the injury took place, there was somebody that showed up, um, a family member or friend of Misty showed up and helped her to um, quickly take the take Misty's body, or sorry, quickly take Haley's body to a river where she shows me that they threw her into the river and she flo floated down the river. It was a, a deep, fast running river that that was very fast, that emptied into a larger body of water. And she, she has shown me that on multiple occasions. So she may have been, may or may not have actually been all the way past um, when she was placed into the water, but that is what in, she has shown me that has happened. So we will, we will check the cards and see, <clears throat> see what they have to say. And I've never done this one on camera before, so here I am. All right, so I'm calling in my spirit guides, my angels and ancestors, guides, protectors of the love and light only, asking that you come in in this moment. Please help me to connect with the God Source energy. Please place an angelic protection around that connection, please, so that no misinterpretations can take place or no um, um, other influencing energies can come in and cause confusion in my energy. I'm asking to connect with little Miss Haley Cumming Spirit if she's possibly available. Uh, and her guides, please, too, to come in if she's not. Okay, spirit guides. First of all, we are divinely protected within the God Source Energy, so be it and so it is. Spirit guides, <clears throat> they're already showing me. This is familiar. Okay, I've seen this. Okay, who is responsible? Who is responsible for Haley, Haley being taken or being removed from her mobile, the mobile home, the trailer house? Who is responsible? We have a male energy. This is a page energy, but what? But it's showing an older man on the card. So what this is telling me that this is this was. I feel like this is the individual that actually took her, like literally, like physically took her. I don't know that Misty physically hands on took her. I feel that she was was like right there when she was placed into the water, but there's a very good possibility she was holding the other child when the one child was placed into the water because I have seen it that way, okay? Uh, the younger child was in her arms when Haley was put into the water by somebody else, by a, a man that she had called to come over and help her. I want to say this was a family man. And when with the page in, uh, energy coming in here, this was an older but younger person. So older than Misty, but page is a younger energy, early 20s, mid 20s. So someone older than Misty, but still a younger energy is what I feel coming off that one. And that does coincide with what I've seen. Okay. All right. What more can we know about who, who took Haley from the mobile home, from the trailer house, from her, the trailer house, who took her from the trailer house. So we've got the six of wands. This is victory success. So I'm not exactly sure what the wheel, how the wheelchair ties into this other than I wanted to say this before I'm going to say it now. The individual that helped her may be handicapped in some way, may be an older person trapped in a younger mind. I picked, I pick up on that. Okay. I picked up on that in the past. This individual may have like learning disabilities or deficits or be or or something like that some kind of brain damage or some uh, um, intellectual retardation of some kind i have picked that up in the past someone very easy to manipulate um and with the six of wands with success coming in with someone sitting in a wheelchair that really re reiterates that for me so i'm feeling like the individual that helped misty very well has some kind of a disability Okay. okay, what more can we know? Yes, the person that helped remove her from, we've got the death card. And do you see female, 
showing up upside down on the death card, that's telling for me. The moon in the background, it happened at night. Okay. What can we know about the female on this card? Who is this? What can we know about the female? What can we know about the female on that card? Eight of Cups in reverse. Normally, Eight of Cups, so native, Eight of Cups upright would be somebody who is shy, withdrawal, retreat, somebody who hides away. The individual on this was somebody who came straight out into the public. She came straight out to the media. She showed up on like talk shows. Uh, the police took her from jail actually and had her go show them different places because her story kept changing. Um, for me, this is somebody who did not try to hide away. This is somebody who put her face out there right away. She called 911. So, so this is the reversal of someone who would button up and be quiet. She told multiple changing stories. That makes sense. Okay. Ooh. And we've got the six of swords. Six of swords is a necessary transition. Do you see the water? Do you see the water? Six of swords means is a necessary transition. It is, I gotta get the heck out of Dodge. I gotta move this thing out of plain sight. I gotta take this somewhere else. It is a an absolute, ne like you don't have a choice about it, okay? And then we've got the three, let's see, I think this would be the three of wands. Yes, we've got the three of wands. Three of wands, that's teamwork. That's working together with somebody, it's also travel. Do you see the boat and the water? Yeah. Okay, so thank you for ex telling me about the person on the card. I believe that that's Misty. Definitely believe that's Misty. Okay, so what happened to Haley? What happened to her? Can we know what happened to her? What happened to her? Other than going in the water, what happened to her? What caused her to be taken out of the house? What happened to her? Well, it moon. It happened in the nighttime. And you see a female? Just see the female? It happened at night with a female. A Page of Swords female. This looks like her. So the Page of Swords is a very curious individual. They are a gossip. They lie. Uh, they, they spy. Um, they have like prying eyes. They cheat. They lie. Um, they also take matters into their own hands, break the rules, push the limits. Uh, they think they know better than anyone else. They're those teenagers who think they know more than their parents. And so they make dumb choices as a result. This girl dropped out of school in sixth grade. That, that, okay. Okay. <clears throat> I asked what happened to her. They show me Misty. Okay. Why is she gone? Why did this happen to her? Why did this happen to her? Okay. I have always, I'm going to change decks. I've always felt that this was a, it wasn't necessarily something that was planned. This is something that happened in the spur of a, an angry fit. Um, I'm going to grab these light, light worker, the light worker tarot. This was the unfolding path tarot. This is the light worker tarot. I'm gonna grab it. Okay, why did this happen to Haley? Why did this happen to Haley that she's gone? Okay, we got judgment. So here's what Spirit has told me. Mr. Cummings, Haley's father, was struggling with this relationship with this young girl. I feel I feel he was quite a bit older than her. At least five maybe not quite 10, but five to eight years older, something I want to say. I'm seeing infinity, so I'm thinking eight, around eight years older. Okay, so he was quite a bit older than her. Um, he was struggling with being, with, um, he was struggling with seeing eye to eye with her. I also feel like this woman may have had 
lots of problems within her family. Like this may have been a family, a whole family thing, but she was under his, un, being judged by him for something. He had heard a rumor, he heard a story, he heard something or something, he had heard something he had confronted her on. There was a big fight. I. It may have been, okay, let me ask, let me ask, what was the fight that happened the, the day that Haley came up missing? The fight that took place between Ronald and Misty. What was this fight about? What was this fight about? So they're going to show us there was a fight. There, the Five of Wands is fighting. This is frictional conflict. So there was there was a lot of fighting going on between Misty and Ronald. They had a very rocky, turbulent relationship. And I feel like Misty was pushed into a, a, a role... She chose to be in this role because she she had to be in this role to be with Ronald. She wanted to be with Ronald. But she was kind of pushed into a motherly role way before she was ready to do that. This Misty girl, she was very immature, uh, very irresponsible, very young. Um, and she didn't have a good example growing up from as family. This has come through in my readings and in my meditations. Three of Cups. Three of Cups telling me that there was other people involved in this these fights. They were pulling other people in. It may have been some cheating that was going on. Um, a lot of times Three of Cups is getting together. Friends getting together. So there may have been some cheating, some unfaithfulness on one or both parts. Who knows? Because in the past I've asked that question, were they both going out on the relationship and I got a yes. And we've got the eight of coins. This is the job card. It came in in reverse. So she wasn't doing a very, it was, it was a hard job for her. She was finding it very difficult to be in this relationship. She was finding it very difficult to be responsible for two young children. This isn't what she wanted. She didn't want, um, so spirit tells me that she, she wanted to be with Ronald, but she, she really thought that at some point the children's mother was gonna take them back in. It may have even been like set told to her that he only had them temporarily while the mother was receiving some kind of treatment or something is what has come through in the past in my readings that the mother, let's ask that question again. Okay, here we go. Eight of Swords. She was in a self-imposed imprisonment. Yes. Misty was imprisoned within her own self because she wanted to be with this man, but she did not want to be a mother to his children. And she lies and says, yes, I love those children like they are my own. No, they were complete inconvenience for her. A lot of work. She was not prepared to undertake and it was too much. Okay. Um, and all of the things I'm saying right now, I have gleaned from past reads and meditations I've done on this case. When I say I've done many, I mean, I've done many. So everything I'm getting here is just re rerun <laughs> of what I've got in the past. Okay. What happened to Haley? What did Misty do to Haley? Strength. we got strength in, in. okay. So I've always felt like she was hit in the head hard by something, but by an object. Is that correct? Is that correct? Somebody was, somebody hit her too hard, used too much strength, and there's, there you go. There you go. Okay. What spirit has showed me is this happening, her being hit in the head. When she was hit in the head, Misty panicked. Did Misty panic when she realized that Haley was really hurt? When she couldn't wake her up? Eight of Wands. Absolutely. Eight of Wands is speed. Quick action. Coming in quick. Doing fast action. Yes. She called in help right away. Immediately. She called in someone to help her. Okay. There we go again with the Three of Wands. Three of Wands being teamwork. Being travel. Okay, so I'm just getting confirmation after confirmation. Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm gonna, let me switch decks here. <clears throat> Again, we will go to the Mind's Eye Tarot and we'll ask, is it even a possibility to find Haley's body? Is it even a possibility to find her body? I, I'm i telling you personally, I don't believe it is. <clears throat> Where is Haley's body? Where is Haley Cummings' body? Where can we find Haley Cummings' body, please? Where is Haley Cummings' body? The High Priestess. <laughs> this is the one who holds the secrets. So, Misty knows. Misty knows. She may not know precisely where her body is, but she knows what happened to her body. 
All right, um, where can we find her physical vessel? Nine of Swords. This is like her nightmares, her stress. This is the the literally the reason she can't sleep at night. This is the reason. So I'm gonna tell you when I tap into Misty's energy, she's got the energy of a psychopath. Like she's got the energy of somebody who just doesn't give up about anything. Very little emotional response to things. Very subdued uh, emotional state. Um, there's not a lot of, like this girl doesn't feel guilt for what happened. She doesn't feel, what she feels is stress and worry that someone's going to find out the truth. I think she worries that there is one individual on the planet who, other than her, who knows what happened. I don't know if that person's still alive. I feel like it is a family member. So the person, the other person, spirit that you show me, that helped Misty with this, is this person still alive? Is this person still alive, first of all? King of Pentacles. I believe that's a yes, okay? So this is an older individual. Somebody who... Somebody that is relied upon. Somebody who's smart. When I say smart, I mean strategy-wise, their strategy, for, it worked. Okay? They were... Maybe, maybe some money was exchanged, or there may be money... Uh, promised to this individual spirit guides is that what you're telling me that maybe he's been promised money and that's why he's kept quiet eight of swords self-imposed imprisonment yes he has kept himself quiet because he's been promised something in return possibly money possibly you know I will take care I will take care of you as soon as I get out of here I'll take care of you or Something like that. Okay. Ten of Cups. Yes. Ten of Cups is uh, total contentment. Uh, this is family, um, but this is love. This is total love, total contentment, uh, feeling content in a choice, in a situation. Contentment. So so probably someone's been made, promises has been made to someone to keep their mouth shut. I feel like this person is still alive. I really do. Um, <clears throat> possibly late... 30s, early 40s, maybe mid 40s. What more can we know about the person that helped Misty? What more can we know about the person that helped Misty to take Haley's body out? Ace of Swords. So this was a new, something new for them. Um, this was, so this was maybe their idea. Maybe it was their idea. Maybe it was... Okay, thank you, Spirit Guides. Okay, so ultimately, the decision of what to do with her was made by this person, and he was the one who had the idea. Heartbreak for the betrayal, the heartbreak. So it was his idea how to carry out the betrayal, and that was getting rid of the body. So it may be somebody that was friends with Ronald or, you know, um, was close with Ronald, that actually helped with this because they can, they're telling me that this was a betrayal, but it could have just been the betrayal of Misty, but he may have had been the one with the idea, the, who, who came up with the plan or at least the idea or the answer. This is what we're going to do. Okay. What more can we know about the individual that helped Misty? Okay, I got an Ace of Cups. This would be a validation for what I was just saying. Ace of Cups is new relationship, a new baby, a proposal. So some kind of a proposal that was made to this individual, you know, um, if you help me and then keep your mouth shut or whatever. I feel like there may even, okay, there, is there like other family members who are taking care of this individual for her, for Misty? Are there other family members Ooh, something just dawned on me. Just Okay, let's just put my awareness. Okay. Are there other family members who this has been shared with? Who know? Who know? Does Haley have other, or does Misty have other family members who know what happened? Oh, jeez. Wow. Six of Pentacles is giving and receiving help. 
Six of Pentacles is you scratch my back, I scratch yours. It may be that the other family members that know, I want to say it's a female family member that knows because I'm like hearing her voice. So like a female family member who Misty has confided in or the other party has confided in is like taking care of this person on behalf of her. And that's what's coming through in the cards. It's come through before multiple times. Okay. Is Misty ever going to tell the truth? Is Misty ever going to tell the truth? One more time. Is Misty... Oh. Well, we've got the moon. Again, this happened at night. This is secrets, things kept in the dark. We've got the page of cups. This would be uh, Haley. Do you see how she's a mermaid in water? We've got the Queen of Swords. This would be Misty. And Temperance. This is Balance, Harmony. So it may it may come out. It may actually come out. It may it may actually come out one day. Okay, so let's uh, let's check out. Let's do the. What was this one called again? The Artist Decoded Tarot. Okay, this one is the Artist Decoded Tarot. And I'm going to ask again. Can you, can Spirit, can you tell me where can we find Haley Cummins' body? Where can we find Haley Cummins' body? Where is her physical vessel located on the planet? Where can we find Haley Cummins' body, please? Where is little... She would be... So at this point, Haley would be two years younger than Misty was when Haley came up missing, I believe, if my math is correct. Something very, either that or very close to that. Okay, where can we find Haley Cummins' body? Where can we find Haley Cummins' body? This happens. Where can we find, okay, all right. Let me try a different deck because I do not give up that easy. Let's go with the gold. Go with the gold. Okay. Spirit guides. Where can you tell me where we can find Haley Cummins' body? Where can we find Haley Ann Marie Cummins' physical vessel? So we've got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This is telling me that there's a lot of people that are still like basically in hell over this. Like they're they're living their worst life. There's a lot of people that are still really hurting. Um this has thrown this has destroyed a lot of worlds this has taken a lot of people down and out that one is that one is definitely that and the queen of swords coming out with it that would be Haley, or that would be misty this has thrown her world upside down thrown her world upside down so is she eventually going to speak? Is she eventually going to tell the truth? Because she changed her story. Her story started out, oh, we've got the Three of Pentacles again. That is a collaboration. That is a working together. That is teamwork, commerce, working together. Okay. Her original story was that she woke up to go to the bathroom at 3 o'clock in the morning and the trailer house door was hanging wide open and little Haley was just gone. And it was not only was it hanging wide open, it was propped open with a brick. And the little baby boy was just fine. I don't know if he was sleeping in the bed with her or what, but she says that she got up to use the bathroom. Not the bathroom in the bedroom she came out of, but the guest bathroom. And that's when she noticed the door was open. Then she changed her story sometime later and said that <clears throat> somebody that they knew, somebody that Ronald knew, had come to the house to get a machine gun that Ronald had promised him. This is complete fabrication. But this is a story she changed it to. Someone had come to the house to get a machine gun and while she was cowering in the corner, hiding under a blanket with the little baby boy in a bedroom, separate from where Haley was, um, she peeked out from under the blanket and recognized some guy that was friends with Ronald who was there around sacking the house looking for a machine gun. And when they couldn't find the machine gun, they took Haley instead. That None of that's true. Zero zilch of any of that is true. That's complete fabrication. I do not believe a word of that. That is a total made-up lie. Is that correct? Is that correct, Spirit Guides? The story she told about the machine gun guy, is that completely fabricated and made up? 
yes, the star. The star is the biggest yes card there is, but yes, the star. Being on a stage, uh, acting, okay? Absolutely. Who? The empress. This was the person put in effect to be the mother that night, to act as the mother figure, okay? Two of pentacles, meaning it was two people, not one. It was two. A choice and a decision was made and action was taken. Okay. Was this an act of anger? A Was this a like a, a, an explosion of anger towards Ronald that was taken out on Haley by Misty? Is that what this is that ultimately the reason for this? Haley's little body had uh, Haley was the one she took it out on. Is that death? There you go. Absolutely, no doubt in my mind. Absolutely. And the Six of Pentacles coming in again. Someone helped her. She's paying someone to help her. She paid someone to help her in some way, shape, or form. If not, they are still being paid in some way. Absolutely. Okay, what more can I share? Oops. Okay. Again. See, I just don't think that there that it's a possibility to find her little body. After Haley was unalived, where was she taken? After Haley was unalived, where was she taken? Nine of Wands. So Nine of Wands is going to be that keeping and maintaining boundaries. So she was taken somewhere away, somewhere where sh she could safely be tucked away well, things were being checked out in the area. So she was taken, I do believe that she was taken directly down to the river, uh, taken away from the house. And the boundaries would be the fact that she went down the river. Okay. Then we've got the Seven of Swords. This is a thief. This is thief. This is someone coming in the middle of the night and taking her away. Okay. All right, we've got the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands coming in as as a new project, a new embarking on a new project. A um, it it also can be like an inspiration. So I don't know if because we've got the first of all, we've got the Seven of Wands coming in. Seven of Wands is is uh, self defense, is protecting yourself. Self defense, okay. Self defense for this new idea that she, this new story, this new idea that she has to come in. The Seven of Cups meaning lots of options. So maybe this individual, this hermited individual, because there's a hermit that comes in. I do feel like this is somebody that hermits himself. This is somebody that's not, uh, he doesn't work in society. He doesn't go out in society a lot. This is somebody who may be a bit reclusive because I feel like they have like a deficit of some kind um, intellectually, uh, maybe not so much physically and physically they look normal on the outside, but I feel like this person is mentally struggles in some way, shape, or form. I almost want to say that the energy that comes across is someone who is born with fetal alcohol syndrome. Okay, that's the energy that comes across. So this individual may have been a family member was that was born with some disability, is who she asked to come help her. Okay, and this individual is not somebody who, um, he may have very well have went into hiding afterwards too. Uh, but I don't feel like it's someone that would normally be suspected of doing this. I do not feel like it. I do. I feel like he's the last person someone would, um, would assume that would have anything to do with this. Okay. But I'm not going to get an answer today on where her body is because I believe her body, I'll ask one more deck, but I believe her body is no longer um okay let me ask some specifics here Haley Cummings body was shown to me floating down a river and entering a larger body of water can you either show me that in my head again or show me if I'm wrong what happened to Haley Cummins' body? Wow, that flew far. You have got to be kidding me. I shit you not. Somebody watched her 
go down the river. I'm telling you, this is the Six of Swords. This is the Six of Swords. This is that necessary transition. Wow. <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit Guides. And do you see the look on this person's face? Like, they don't, they're not, like, they thought they were doing a good thing by helping Misty. Uh, not cognitively able to grasp the concept of what actually happened and what they were helping with at the time. Yeah, okay. I just had a bird fly into my window right when I said that. I just, I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but I just had a bird fly right into my window as I said that. Okay, what more can I know about Haley? Here he is. Here is this guy. Here is this guy. Same guy. Okay. This this is an individual who <clears throat> Okay, and we've got the 3 of cups again. 3 of cups being friendship, of uh, a celebration coming together, we're helping circle of support, okay? This her this person helped her out. This person this this page of pentacles, pentacles being money was paid in some way by her to help with Miss Haley. And he's the one who, he is what happened to her body when it was taken out. He, okay. Will he ever talk? Will he ever speak or talk or give up the truth? Oh, I thought I saw one turned around. I did. <gasps> The moon is secrets, things that happen at night, things being kept in the dark. He may not ever say a word. Do you see? She's got her loyal helpers. I feel like they're, she's got at least two. One that helped her in the beginning and one that continues to help her with this individual to keep him quiet. To keep him happy. Okay. Anything more I can share before I end this reading? Gonna... Anything more I can share? <sighs> Seven of Swords. There is an individual who knows outside of her. Betrayal. I'm, I'm hearing betrayal. And this is betrayal. So that's what's coming through on this is betrayal. Okay. Will Haley ever get justice? Will she ever get any kind of justice for what happened to her? Oh, wow. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We've got, starting with four of pentacles. Four of pentacles being greed, um, desire for long-term security. So I don't feel like Misty will say a word. I don't feel like she'll say a word. Uh, four of cups, she she thinks about it. Um, but, but she's complacent. She doesn't care. She does not care. And then the Ten of Swords, yeah. Yeah, the Ten of Swords is complete painful ending, rock bottom ending. She'll probably never... Okay, wait. King of Pentacles, though. He came through before. He may talk. He may talk. Her rock bottom may be his confession. Let's ask. Let's ask. So, is her helper going to confess? Is her helper going to do a confession? Or somehow... Well, we got the Queen of Swords, so it may be her. Or, he may tell on the Queen of Swords. He may confess what happened with the Queen of Swords. That may be what they're telling me. It could be very well what they're telling me. Okay, ending message. What, what does Haley want the world to know about what happened to her? What does Haley 
What is Haley's main message? What does Haley want the world to know about? She doesn't want me to use this deck. Okay. <clears throat> okay. This is the Everyday Tarot. Um, Everyday Enchantment Tarot by Poppy Palin. Big cards, so I do them a little differently. Well, she wants the world to know that there was an ending, but there's also been a new beginning. So she may have already reincarnated. She may already be back here again. So endings and beginnings, that's what her message is, is that one life ended, but there's been a new beginning. So she's, she may be back. She may actually be back. So part of her higher self is telling us, energy-wise, her higher self is speaking. If she's already reincarnated and is back here on the planet, which I want to say that's probably the case, her higher self that still remains in the ether uh, is telling me that there's been a new beginning. And that feels very energetically correct. So... Do you see her looking back at this? So I feel like she's back again. I feel like she's reincarnated. She is back here again. So that was it. That was that was her message. That death is not only an ending, it's also a beginning. And she's back doing her thing. Is that right, Haley? Goosebumps, goosebumps, thank you. Ooh, look at that. Did you see that? Okay. Thank you, Haley. All right, guys, that's it. I just wanted to come and do it. I've never done a reading for Haley on camera, so thought I'd check it out. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching me do my thing. And I hope you're all out there enjoying your day. Stay in the love, stay in the light, and I'm wrapping you all in loving high vibrations. Bye -bye.